Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out redzonecoins.com and use code ZERK for 15% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today guys we have my top 100 legend weekly rewards. Now I do want to give a shout out to Clutch, which I guess I wasn't, for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on and comment down below Nota Gang. Also guys let me know how have your weekend league rewards been by the time you guys see this video hopefully you have them by now because i just got mine at least i logged in anyways about 440 and i have them now so hopefully you guys have yours but if you guys don't know the story behind that intro well basically i went 20 and 5 in weekend league which is my best weekend league finish ever if you didn't know 18 wins is actually legend Weekend League was so hard this week, and guys, I think it's really going to be like that every single week because all the pro players have to play. I actually faced literally Joke. If you guys know who Joke is, he won the $100,000 tournament last year from EA, the Madden Championship. He won the entire thing. I faced him twice in Weekend League. We squeaked by in a victory, 24 to 21, and then we faced again. I got destroyed, 17-0, but I did end up winning a game, luckily, with some help on my side with some EA cheese, but we ended up winning that game. I won 25, my best Weekend League finish ever. And that wasn't even good enough to get top 100. That's how hard Weekend League is this year. And if you don't get 21 wins, you're not locking yourself into top 100. I believe there were some people that got 20 wins that did make it, but yeah, unfortunately, I guess my strength of schedule was just not good enough. But we do still get our Weekend League Legend Rewards. Now, I will let you guys know right now, these red zone packs, these touchdown packs, the midfield, the Hail Mary, you can also just go ahead and take the coins if you don't want to actually open up the packs. And just a warning, Last year, I think literally every single weekend league that I did, guys, I'm pretty sure that if I just ended up taking the packs, then I would have made more coins off of the packs than if I actually did the pack itself. But obviously, I'm doing the packs. I'm not going to take the quick sell. Midfield pack, though, you guys can see you can get a 10,000 coin quick sell, or you can get a pack containing 170 plus overall. Red zone, 25,000 coin quick sell, or you get a red zone pack containing 175 plus overall. So you're not even guaranteed an elite, and you can get 25k. And then the touchdown, you can see here, it does contain one 80 plus overall lead, one 75 plus overall gold or better, two 70 plus overall gold or better players, or you can get 50,000 coins. So if I were to take the quick sells, I would get between these two packs, touchdown red zone, 150K instantly. And then also the midfield, I would have 170,000 coins that I could take instead of quick sells. But we're obviously not gonna do that. So let's get right into the packs here. And although it sucks that I had 20 wins, which is just insane to me, by the way, Tips. use code zerk link in the description if you guys want to check out any ebooks or get some tips over there you definitely can it sucks that i didn't make top 120 wins because that is by far away my best weekend league finish ever uh last year i ended up getting 18 wins i think is my top weekend league and i ended up quitting playing weekend league i think around like november or december because at that point like the packs were so bad guys literally as i said every single week that i did weekly rewards I don't think that I actually ended up making the coin value back as if I would have just taken the quick sell legit every single week. So it just wasn't worth it to play because obviously I wasn't going to make a video of me just taking the quick sells. But hopefully this year where rewards will be a little bit better. Uh, midfield pack here though, 10k coins. We get a Tyron Matthew power up. I really wish he didn't have the uh, set that gave you the power up because he would be super expensive. But we actually may have made our 10k back there between the Tyrod Taylor if he's like 3k. We got the rookie. We got the power up. We may have squeaked out 10k. We'll, we'll see about that though. Uh, next midfield pack here. We need to get like a good power up, honestly. Uh, 70 overall gold. Okay. Give me another gold. Give me another gold or an elite. And that was a bad pack. So that's that's an example of what can happen to you. But now we have the two red zone and the two dodge. Now keep in mind, guys, TJ Watt is still in packs. Obviously, if you guys haven't seen my video from earlier today, I just did a bundle, a team of the week bundle. So make sure you guys go and check it out if you want to see how good those uh, packs are in the bundle is. As you get a 71. This is 25,000 coins, by the way. This is a 25,000 coin pack. Malik Jackson. Yeah, that's tough. That's mad tough. 25,000 coins and we get that pack which <laughs> that is pretty bad next red zone pack though and these touchdowns if these touchdowns are bad man if these touchdowns are bad guys i'm telling you right now if you want to get your guaranteed coins take the coins but if you're like me and you want to risk it you can definitely risk it now this was 
Uh, again, a bad pack, but 25,000 coins, you know, Chris Conley, Chris Lindstrom, and also Britton Colquitt here. Maybe we get 10K out of those three, and then we end up taking a fat L either way. So two touchdown packs now, 50,000 coin quick sell, 50K. I could have 50,000 coins, but I'm going to do the touchdown pack for you guys. And also, I think we have enough trophies. I'm going to get John Madden in, the, in this video for you guys as well and show you the tier one upgrade because I don't have them up yet. I was getting Matt Milano there. Please give me something good. And we get into, okay, guaranteed elite, 80, over, 80 overall, Taylor Luan, no double elite, 65. That is, that's disheartening. That, that's pain. That's pain right there. Final pack here, final touchdown pack, and then we're going to go ahead and quick sell our trophy collectible, and we're going to get John Madden, and I'll upgrade him and show you guys exactly what he's like because it's a little bit different this year. It's not as good as you may think. Uh, we get a 75 Jordan Lewis, guaranteed elite. 80 Melvin Gordon. Yeah. 50,000 coins. Or that. Take the coins. So let's go and actually use our collectibles here. We're going to get the John Madden Coach Madden collectible here, which we are only able to get one, but I love that pack animation for the John Madden and also the collectible. Now, hopefully, somehow, I am able to go ahead and actually get top 100. Why is the card glitch right there? I don't know, but hopefully, somehow, I'm able to get top 100 next week because... I really want some better rewards to show you guys, but it is going to be very, very tough to do so. But we do get our first chemistry slot here for John Madden. And just so you guys know, it's not the same as last year. So you can see here, you can go in and pick any offensive one here for the tier number one. But this is what it's like. You can literally choose between times two of a certain chemistry we want to go with. Now, I could go with go deep. Or I can go with Zummer. We're going to check on that. But it's the same thing when it comes to the defensive one and then these next two. And then there is a physical slot. Now, we don't know yet if it's going to be like unless maybe someone does know, let me know down below. As far as I know, I don't know if it's just like Sprinter, like you can add Sprinter onto him or Shake or whatever, or if it actually is gonna be like plus two speed or plus one speed, whatever it's gonna be there, we'll have to see. But for now, all I know is this sadly. And for my team currently, we're gonna go ahead and add times two to zone run on John Madden because that is actually going to push me over tier four now. So now I get plus two carry, plus two ball carry vision, plus two juke move, and plus two run block finesse to my entire offense. And so unfortunately, guys, we did not get top 100 and the rewards were doo-doo as I kind of expected them to be because it's just kind of how weak the rewards are. But let me know down below how you guys' weekly rewards are, how your team of the week packs are, everything like that. I know I've been getting tweeted a lot of people pulling like TJ Watt, which unfortunately I was hoping to do so for you guys today, but that didn't work out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below, guys. Keep in mind, there is some sort of content coming out tomorrow. We don't know exactly what, but EA did say that we have five players coming out from a program that we are familiar with. So I may have another video for you guys later tonight, maybe around like 8 30 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 30, 8 45. Be on the lookout. I may have another video for you guys going over whatever that content is going to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on the vid. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Hopefully, packs are better next week. See you guys next time.